Murray. I am uh, Garrett Mills. Um, I really, really enjoyed reading your paper. Um, your paper on an integrated model of Christian counseling that does not contradict uh, Scripture uh, was very, very intriguing for me, and it was very eye-opening for me, um, especially because this is a topic, and this is something that I have very limited knowledge about, and it's something that I would not have picked up and would not have um, thought about prior to reading your paper, and so um, it was really, really good, and it was really, really thought-provoking for someone like me who is naive uh, and ignorant, maybe, almost, to to not think about the biblical side and the importance of uh, Christian psychology. So, so thank you so much um, for writing this. Um, so the first thing that I would say is, is I really love the point, and I'm looking here on page four, uh, about how when biblical counseling is really effective, it's when it is guided by the Holy Spirit. I thought that was an excellent point to bring out. I thought I think that sometimes in the world of, of, of counseling or something that is Christian faith based that's also has some secular elements into it, that what separates us, what separates believers from like faith based rehab or faith based counseling is the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And I think that that was an excellent thing to draw out. Of that, because if if we're believers, and if I'm you know in ministry, if I go up to preach or to teach, and I don't have the 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 prompt of the Holy Spirit, then I'm just speaking out of my head, and it's really not effective. The only way that this can be effective, and the only way that that Christian counseling can be effective, is if it is guided by the God's Word. It is guided by the Holy Spirit. I think about Paul. Paul says, "Everything that I learned, I learned from the Holy Spirit." And the same thing is true for this. Uh, so I thought that was an excellent point. This is what you said. You said, It is crucial that the counselor be filled with the Holy Spirit as they lead the session. But with this in mind, there should be at least three persons involved in every situation of counseling. The Holy Spirit, the counselor, and counselee. I think that's a great point to bring out. Um, we must be guided by the Holy Spirit. Uh, the thing that I would say like maybe you should work on or uh, maybe in further papers or, or anything like that is that sometimes you might lay out um, how you were going to um, um, lay out how you were going to write about the section, how you were going to say this is how the section is going to lay out from here. And sometimes you would say it and then you would start good at the beginning and then not really follow through on it. Like, uh, for example, you said that um, in, um, I'm trying to find it, um, that, you know, you were going to lay out the section with five different, um, five different, um, yeah, here it is right here, verse, uh, page three. It says, this section will be broken into five categories, nature of the man, view of pathology, counseling model, counseling process, the counselor and his techniques. And I only counted three, I think. Um, so, I think that's something that that I would work on going forward, um, and, and like in that, sometimes I was waiting and looking for the next thing, and it never would come. And so, um, you know, I would just work on that. Um, but I think another great thing that you pointed out was how we should be in Christian counseling using secular things, and I, I, I say secular things, but like. Uh, secular um, material. And I think that's an excellent thing to bring out too because in this, uh, if there's a, a person outside of the faith that can confirm what we're doing, uh, I think it adds further validity to your argument and further validity to what Christian counseling really is. And so I think that's an excellent point to draw out is that you know if, if I'm doing a research uh, topic on a book or I'm doing a book review, and uh, I make the claim, and it's not just Christians that agree with me, but it's also secular scientists or secular 
uh, professors that agree with your point and that agree with your methods, I think that adds further validity to the argument. I think that was an excellent thing that you pointed out in your paper is that you pointed out that as Christians, as, as Christian uh, counselors, we don't need to neglect um, you know, secular sources that they, they can further um, validate us. Um, Maria, I, I, Marie, I, I really, really enjoyed her paper. I, I think that it's something that needs to be talked about. And it's, and it's an argument and a, a thing that I didn't really know was out there. And so I really appreciate you bringing this to, to light for me. And, um, and that I didn't know that there are people saying that Christian counseling contradicted scripture. And, um, you know, I, I was just naive to that fact. So I really, really appreciate you writing this paper and I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I learned a whole lot from your writing. Uh, thank you so much.